Welcome to the Radiation Safety Institute. I think you will see over the balance of this series of videos that we are a very unique organization with an opportunity to provide health and safety advice to people in every aspect of the workplace in Canada. Thank you for joining us. My recollection is primarily of, uh, of workers dying or in terrible condition as a result of silicosis and lung cancer, induced primarily by two mines, Rio Algam and Denison, where the workers were uh, exposed to radiation far above the level which was in any way permissible or tolerable, and the consequences were horrific. The legacy is pretty profound. Um, it exacted a, an immense change in, in health and safety across this country. So in 1974, responding to mounting concerns from the steelworkers and others, the Ontario government uh, appointed a royal commission. It was chaired by a prominent engineer and scholar, later president of the U of T, Dr. James Hamm, to inquire into mining health and safety, focusing in particular on the alarmingly high incidence of lung cancer in the Atlantic Lake uh, uranium mines. He discovered that there was a, a terrible um, situation there in terms of the health of the miners. Because of uh, the poor ventilation systems, the uh, uh, radon levels uh, were quite high and the miners were breathing it in and it resulted in a lot of cancers. Miners were totally unaware of what they were being exposed to. So the result was a dreadful, dreadful tragedy. The company kept saying, it's not a problem, don't worry about it. You know, you're, you're not uh, being harmed by anything that's happening here underground. The government was ignoring the problem. They wouldn't uh, pay any attention to it whatsoever. More than 200 workers died of cancer and it was a great tragedy for for Ontario and for, particularly for the people who worked at Elliott Lake. And uh, I think the experience has uh, taught us a lot. The most significant consequence of the Ham Commission report was the passing of a completely revised Occupational Health and Safety Act, which among other enhanced safety features permits workers to refuse to perform unsafe work including where it is perceived by the workers that there is an excessive exposure to radiation and other stipulated hazardous substances. The Radiation Safety Institute of Canada is really a health and safety association. It was founded based on the tragedy that occurred in Elliott Lake in the 1970s and 80s. So people that cared, like the United Steelworkers and a number of others, formed an association to say, never again will we see that kind of tragedy. The protection of the miners in the beginning, and we still do this in Saskatchewan, but it grew to protection of all workers working with or around radioactive sources and radiation devices. And this is our mission to prevent occupational cancers from occurring. The Radiation Safety Institute is uh, fully independent. It has a multi-stakeholder board, which I think gives a credibility. Uh, therefore, I think when uh, we tell people about the Radiation Safety Institute, that is a main factor. We have no biases. We have a lot of work to do to create awareness of all forms of radiation and to dispel some of the myths and to raise concerns about areas that are of concern. We're training all of the individuals who might have some association with supervising people to work safely around the radioactive sources, as well as those that could have some contact with the regulators. So I can say that the Institute's Board of Directors, which I chair and which serves pro bono, is the most talented and dedicated board with which I've been associated over my entire career. Current members include leaders from industry, both labor and management, the judiciary, academia, and the public sector. These very backgrounds are of enormous help in ensuring that maximum assistance 
and advice is provided to the president, Steve Mahoney, and his talented staff so that our work is truly in the public interest. We've always enjoyed a very good working relationship and, the, and Radiation Safety Institute has provided high, high quality service. And uh, it's great that uh, they're here based locally. If there is ever an issue or a problem, uh, we can drive down the street and, and have that conversation.